Welcome back. Uh, tonight, our hearts are heavy as we mourn the man known as the Dean of the Civil Rights Movement. Reverend Dr. Joseph Lowry died last night at the age of 98. CBS 46's Karen Greer has more on his lasting legacy. In my three decades in Atlanta television, few people have actually touched my soul like the Reverend Joseph Lowry. From his dogged determination to his compassion for justice for all, he was like a father to me and many of my fellow journalists. I smile as I remember my last visit with him at home. I cry as I share what his life has meant to so many. We've made progress in race, but we still got a terrible long way to go. Even in his 90s, Reverend Joseph Eccles Lowry's dedication to civil and human rights never faded. We ain't going back. We've come too far. March too long, pray too hard. Affectionately hailed the Dean of the Civil Rights Movement, Lowry played an instrumental role in pivotal moments of our nation's history. From helping lay the groundwork to our civil rights movement, to delivering the benediction at the inauguration of the country's first black president. Say amen. Amen. Say amen. amen. And amen. amen. He should be welcomed. Uh, in heaven. Lowry died at 98, peacefully at his home, surrounded by his three daughters. Ambassador Andrew Young, who fought and marched alongside Lowry, said his friend of 60 years showed unflinching courage in helping shape a new South. He has been in situations in Alabama where they shot through the back of his car. Alongside Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., Lowry co-founded the Southern Christian Leadership Conference, the backbone of the movement, which advocated for nonviolence. He would go on to serve as chairman, vice president, and president of the SCLC, a role he served for 20 years. It's a challenge we've not met in finding a way to, to bring the races to a new level of, of respect and understanding but we've got to do it. His wife, Evelyn, died in 2013. The couple was married for 67 years. An ordained minister, Lowry became pastor of Cascade United Methodist Church in the mid 80s. He will be truly missed. Senior pastor, Dr. Kevin Muriel, said Lowry's preaching style was unmatched. Dr. Lowry could take uh, any scripture that he ever preached and he could make it relevant to where you were in the current context in your own personal life but he always tied it back into what was happening in our culture. In 2001 Clark Atlanta University established the Joseph and Evelyn Lowry Institute for Justice and Human Rights. He received numerous awards including NAACP's Dean of the Civil Rights Movement and Lifetime Achievement Award and the Martin Luther King Jr. Center Peace Award. In 2009, a new generation was introduced to Dr. Lowry when he gave the prayer at President oh, Barack Obama's inauguration. My servant, Barack Obama, the 44th president. That same year, Obama awarded him the Presidential Medal of Freedom. Lowry's legacy and unwavering optimism that true racial equality would one day be achieved will never be forgotten. And in the joy of a new beginning, we ask you to help us work for that day when black will not be asked to get back, when brown can stick around, when yellow will be mellow, when the red man can get ahead, man, and when white will embrace what is right, let all those who do justice and love mercy say amen. amen. Say amen, amen. and amen. amen. Lowry's daughters, Cheryl, Karen, and Yvonne tell me they're truly touched by the outpouring of love and support that has come from across the globe. And they say, we thank you for loving our father and for your continuous prayers during this time. I'd like to add, Reverend Lowry, we thank you for the legacy you've left us. Your spirit will be missed. For CBS 46 News, 